we tell the people the story about the olden days? About the olden days. That you told me recently? Yeah. When I moved to Nashville in 1979, I started writing for Tree International Publishing Company. And they had a studio there downstairs where they did a lot of demos and records and things like that. And there was a producer, a guy named Bud Logan, who was producing a country singer named John Conley. And what he used to do, and I would go with him, he would mix a, uh, a single. And they used to mix them on these little tiny oratone speakers, of just something as small as it would in your car. And then we would drive out to WSM radio station, and he would give an acetate to the disc jockey to play it. And then we'd go out in the parking lot and listen to the acetate to see how it was actually going to sound on the radio and then it was either okay or oftentimes it would be like oh you know what i need to bring those backing vocals down a little bit and we'd go back to the studio and he'd remix it and bring the backing vocals down and then back out to wsm to listen to it again and in the parking <laughs> lot we'd be like that's it it's a hit <laughs> it's great fun <laughs> And that's what it was like in the olden days. <laughs>